Vintages are, are rolling out. The first one, um, uh, Bieler Perry Fils from Aix en Provence, uh, an Appalachian, small Appalachian within Provence that um, on average the vineyards are a little bit higher, uh, meaning cooler nights, cooler mornings, and slower ripening. So we pick a few weeks later than, say, Cote de Provence on average. Um, it's uh, Grenache based. We've made a few little changes this year. There's a little more Cinso, there's a little bit more roll, still Grenache dominated, uh, really pure focused. We've also worked on, on uh, building a bit more of a mid palette, so it's slightly creamier in the middle. It's not, um, it's not by any means heavy, but it's, uh, uh, it's, it's, a, it's slightly broader in the middle. Um, and then there's uh, the Charles Charles 18, which is just rolling out. Um, still a lot of the same vineyards from the years past. Um, it's Syrah based, there's some Grenache, there's some Morved, there's some Cunois, there's some Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, this year, uh, more than half of it was native fermented, native yeast fermented, which you would think which has added a, a new interesting kind of mineral component. This is an ongoing project that Joel Gott and Dave Finney started uh, about eight years ago that I'm now getting involved with. This is a sneak peek on, on a wine that's coming out just in the next few weeks. It's called Shatter. Uh, it's, uh, it's all Grenache um, from, uh, from, from uh, vines planted around World War I. Um, in a, a hot, sort of arid valley called uh, Mori in, in uh, south of France, in the Roussillon, which is right on the Spanish border. The soil type is black schist. Um, this is a, a photo of, uh, sort of a close-up photo of, of, of the schist. Um, you know, interestingly, schist is also in Priorat, schist is also in, um, uh, schist is also in Cote Roti and a, and, a, and a number of other uh, really great winemaking areas. Um, with me taking over, I shifted to native yeast fermentations, uh, longer times on the skins, and a bit more stem inclusion, and picking a little bit early than it has been. So, kind of a cool wine. Uh, and then last, not least, um, a brand new wine called uh, Beeler Family, uh, Born to Run, American Cab. Um, and it's actually a blend of 50% Washington Cab and 50% uh, California cap, which is kind of unusual. Rarely do people blend cross state borders, and I thought that this the structured profile of, of uh, Washington cab and the um, uh, and the sort of softer red fruited style of California cab would really complement each other, and it's something I'd always wanted to do, and and finally had the guts to to put something out there. Uh, so uh, check this out.